Hi there, peeps. Star Lord is here, trying something a little bit different for you um, this week. So, so many of you have commented and said you really like the Zodiac deck when I pull the Zodiac cards for you. So, what I'm going to do? This is going to be for all twelve signs. I'm going to go through Aries through uh, Pisces and I'm going to pull two cards for the week ahead which is the April 26th through to May the 2nd and I'm just going to pull two astrology cards and see one for love life and romance and the other will be for finance and career so we'll start with Aries okay are you ready y'all ready for this I'm pulling two cards first one is for love and romance so Aries you got the Eclipse in Aquarius, Awakening. That is your card. Now, it could mean that there is an Aquarius this week who's playing a part in your romantic life. This could be somebody who is um, maybe a friend or somebody who, if you're single and looking, maybe this person is trying to set you up with somebody. This person could be the actual you know, love interest themselves is the Aquarius, or it could be something happening on the, on the, when the moon is in Aquarius. I don't think it's in Aquarius this week, but maybe it is. You'll have to check. <laughs> and moving on, we have for you, Aries, the, um, card that represents career and finance. You've got Pisces. It says eclipse in Pisces, free will. So, could be Pisces is involved, or again, when the moon's in Pisces, perhaps there's a Pisces person who will help you, aid you in some way. The Pisces person could be anybody from maybe a friend or a relative that's aiding you or helping you. This could be a business partner. This could be, uh, you know, financial advisor or even your banker. So, let's move on to the sign of Taurus. See what, what cards you get, Taurus. Okay, so Taurus for um, love and romance, and the other one is for career, or sorry, yes, career and finance. So love and romance, sun and Aries, new beginnings, new beginnings here, Taurus. It could be that you're having a new beginning in uh, your love life, perhaps it'll feel like even if you're in, involved in a relationship, you're married or so forth, it could be that you are... <clears throat> Perhaps having a new beginning with your uh, current partner. It could be there's a new beginning in love for you in romance. Maybe there's a new person on the horizon. You could meet them through in Aries or they could be in Aries. Now, uh, in career and finance for you, Taurus, we have moon in Cancer. Belonging, moon in Cancer. This is your message for career and finance. There could be... Someone involved who is a cancer, could be your banker or so forth, could be a business partner, could be the person who hires you for your new job, what have you. So let's move on to the sign of Gemini. We've got two cards coming up for the sign of Gemini. First one is for um, love and romance for you, Gemini. We have Eclipse and Capricorn. Eclipse in Capricorn. Look at this. So it could be that uh, there is a Capricorn involved in your uh, love and relationship. Could be a Capricorn that is your actual um, love interest. And could be a Capricorn is moving you towards meeting the love of your life. The next card we have for you, Gemini, concerning uh, finance and romance is Sun in Pisces, higher purpose. So could be connected to a Pisces. Perhaps this is your business partner, could be your financial advisor, could be friend or family member that's helping you in your finances, could be a, a new boss perhaps that's hiring you, um, could be somebody you're dealing with at the bank, what have you. So let's move on now to the sign of Cancer and see which two astrology cards are for Cancer. The first one concerning love and romance, we have Sun in Cancer home. Maybe you'll find um, great romance this week at home, Cancer, for some of you. Uh, maybe you'll be cuddling up on the couch with your loved one at home for others of you. You could be meeting somebody new. Maybe they are the sign of 
cancer or it could be that you meet someone through say you have a good friend or a family member who's a cancer and maybe they're setting you up with somebody new um again take what resonates <laughs> and the next card you have is for um career and finance you have moon in leo heroism moon in leo so for you cancer it could be there is a connection to a leo concerning your romance and or not your romance sorry your finance and your career this could be someone from the bank this could be someone um a business partner or a person that you meet who wants to become your business partner invest in you something like that so there could be a leo involved now let's carry on to the next sign we have leo so let's see what two cards come up for the sign of leo we have for love and romance we have libra harmony sun and libra harmony so it could be for you uh leos maybe you're going to be uh having great harmony with your loved one this week or it could be for others of you perhaps uh, you're meeting a libra or a libra's involved in your uh, romantic situation this month or sorry this week it could be that uh, you're meeting a Libra or you could be meeting someone through a Libra now moving on to your finance and career card we have moon in Aries courage in your finance and career Leo you need to get your courage up uh, perhaps there is an Aries involved in your finance and your career perhaps this is a business uh, partner this could be uh, someone family friend somebody who's aiding you or helping you in your financial situation it could be a new boss that's hiring you sky's the limit okay we'll move on to Virgo let's see the two cards that come up for the sign of Virgo we now have Sun in Sagittarius, adventure for Virgo's love life and romance. We have Sagittarius, adventure. So it could be for some of you, perhaps you're meeting a Sagittarius. You could be feeling adventurous in love and romance this week. Uh, there could be a ad very adventurous person coming towards you. And uh, there could be a Sagittarius who's just a friend of yours that's going to introduce you to your new romantic partner and for uh finance and career you have moon in gemini indecision so virgo in your career maybe some of you are feeling a little bit indecisive others of you could be dealing with a gemini maybe this is your business partner this could be your um your banker or someone you're dealing with maybe a friend or a family member if you should need assistance or help in some way a Gemini could be involved in this particular situation so we will move on now to the sign of Libra okay just got to move these cards around we're moving on to the sign of Libra let's see what two cards come up for Libra we have for love and romance we have scorpio eclipse and scorpio regeneration so scorpio could be the love interest could be someone who's introducing you to your uh, next love it could be having something to do with the scorpio could have to be during the time of the scorpio full moon something significant happens in your romance and love life um for your career and finance we have reevaluation eclipse in taurus so it could be some of you are reevaluating your career your financial situation right now i always say it's healthy to reevaluate stuff it could be that perhaps there's a taurus involved this could be your business partner this could be somebody you're relying on in terms of your finances uh, maybe you're reevaluating that situation or that relationship or they're reevaluating it with you so we will move on now to the sign of Scorpio and we'll pull two cards for Scorpio. Let's see who we have here for love and romance for Scorpio. We have moon in Sagittarius discovery. 
Maybe some of the Scorps are discovering a new love in Sagittarius, in a Sagittarian. It could be that you are meeting a Sagittarius who um, will play a big part in your love life. Could be that you have a Sagittarius friend who will introduce you to someone who will become very significant for you in love and romance. All right, moving on to your career and finance, Scorpio. We have Eclipse in Virgo. Um, restoration. So it could be a Virgo is involved somehow in your career in finance, Scorpio. It could be this This is a family member, a friend who you're going into business with. This could be somebody uh, that's hiring you if you're looking for work. This could be someone who's at the bank, uh, perhaps a, a financial advisor or a banking person that um, is involved this week with you in finances. Now let's move on to Sagittarius. We'll see what's going to come up here for the sign of Sagittarius in terms of love and romance and then in, let's see, love and romance and then in career and finance. So first we have love and romance, eclipse in cancer acceptance. So it could be Sagittarius, you are dealing with a, a cancer, maybe this is the love interest uh, becoming very, very important this week um, for you and others of you, maybe you're meeting a cancer this week and others of you, again, it could be a cancer connection uh, involving your love life. Now, moving on to the um, career and finance portion, we have Sun in Virgo. Endeavor. Sun in Virgo. So some of you maybe are going into a new endeavor. Maybe you're planning something new. You could be going into business with perhaps a Virgo. And remember, when I mention the signs, could be sun, moon, and rising, right? It's not always just, um, just the sun signs. So that's happening there you've got a virgo perhaps uh, again could be somebody who's hiring if you're looking to uh, find some work this week could be someone who hires you could be somebody you're going into business with you know a biz a financial planner or so forth now let's see what sign comes up for capricorn see what's going on for my cappies so in love and romance, we have this, what is it, moon? So sun in Capricorn. There we go. Capricorn uh, status. It could be that you're meeting someone new this week uh, on the love and romance front. And perhaps you're, you know, taking quite the shine to them. There's such a shine in this card. And, or it could be somebody's taking quite the shine to you, Cappy. Um, this could be a person of status even maybe that is uh, interested in you or you're interested in. Again, it could be, you know, somebody who's uh, introducing you to someone new, could be a, a Capricorn influence. It could be a Capricorn, could be the actual love interest for you. Remember, sun, moon, rising, right? And in your career in finance, we have moon in Virgo. Okay, contentment. Moon in Virgo. So it could be someone connected to your finances um, or your career in uh, the sign of Virgo could be important to you this week, Capricorn. I don't know if that's uh, resonating for you, but it could be this person is um, someone in your career. This could be a new person looking to hire you. Maybe it's a business partner or uh, someone from the bank or something like that. Now, moving on to the sign of Aquarius, let's see what two cards we have for Aquarius. We have Eclipse in Sagittarius, growth for you, uh, Aquarius. So it could be in the love life field, maybe, or area of your life. This could be a Sagittarius, perhaps, that is introducing you to the love of your life. Sagittarius could be the, uh, the love interest themselves, or it could be um, you know, just representing growth in your relationship. Maybe there's a lot happening, a lot going on. Uh, maybe there's some kind of maturity and growth happening in your uh, relationship. Now we have for career and finance, we have Eclipse in Leo Compassion. So look at all that 
solar plexus activation, you know, big, big time. So there could be, um, in terms of your career, your finances, there could be a level of compassion going on here. Could have something to do with a Leo. Perhaps you will be uh, gaining some kind of financial kudos through a Leo or... Um, or it could be a Leo connects you to someone, could be a business partner, could be a financial advisor, someone that helps you and aids you in your finances in some way. It could be a banker too. And then moving on to the sign of Pisces. Let's see what two cards we get for my Pisces. We've got for love and romance, sun and Scorpio. We have passion. Oh, Pisces, are you going to be feeling passionate? Could be during the uh, the moon in the moon will be in Scorpio actually on Monday. That's the full moon that morning. Um, so maybe you can experience some passion on that uh, Scorpio full moon. For others of you, it could be that you find someone who uh, very attractive who happens to be a Scorpio sun moon arising. It could also be a Scorpio perhaps introduces you to someone who will be very significant in your love and romance. And the second card you have uh, representing career and finance, we have sun in Leo. Joy! Oh, you got some beautiful cards here, Pisces. This is happy, happy, joy, joy. Where <laughs> This is uh, celebrating something. It could be good news on the job front, in the career front. Maybe a Leo has something to do with it. it could be a partnership. It could be someone who hires you or commissions you for some of your wonderful creative work. Um, but yeah, that's what we have. I think I covered everybody. Let's see. Yes, two, four, six. Two, four, six. We got everybody. All right. So that is your astrology zodiac card reading for the week two card spread one section for each sign so there we go or actually two sections love and romance career and finance so we've got that straightened out this is you know pardon me i know i'm rambling a bit but this is a bit new to me um i know i do these uh cards on uh, during the monthly readings, but I thought I'd bring them to you since so many of you have uh, mentioned to me how much you love these Zodiac cards. I figured I'd do something different. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Namaste. Much love from Star Lord Tarot. Take care and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.